Are you a software developer or a student who sits more than 8 hours a day? If so, then you may know how hard it is in that situation to stay in shape. I know because I was there. In September of 2018, I was studying two study programs and also had a part-time job as a software developer. That left me weighing 95 kilo, which means around 210 pounds. But then, in March of 2021, I weighed only 78.4 kilo, which is around 173 pounds. That means that in this time, I effectively lost 16 kilo. So how did I achieve this while still sitting, learning and programming? Well, in this video, I want to share with you the exact strategy, the exact step by step. So if you're struggling with weight loss because of a sedentary lifestyle, then I invite you to watch this video. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jan Wilczek and I'm an audio software developer. I write software that processes sound. So I sit a lot. And this was also true when I was a student back in March of 2018. Back then I studied two study programs, acoustic engineering and computer science, and also had a part-time job as an audio software developer. That means that I really was sitting a lot. And in March of 2018, I learned that I cannot do, I couldn't do amateur sports anymore. At that time I was playing basketball in an amateur league and it turned out that it was something that actually kept me in shape. So fast forward six months later, I gained so much weight because of lack of sports and just, you know, sitting that even my friends and family noticed how much I've changed. So in September of 2018, I went on a diet and actually lost some weight, but I didn't stick to it for the long term. So the real breakthrough came in the May of 2019. It was then when I met with my friend who I hadn't seen for some time, and it turned out that he had lost 20 kilo in six months, and that's around 45 pounds. And I was like, whoa, dude, how did you do it? because I knew that he also was sitting a lot. He was sitting, I think, over 10 hours a day at that time. So he shared with me, you know, the strategy that I'm also sharing with you now, but the, what was the most important thing was that I, when I saw it, I thought, well, if he could have done it, then I can too. And that's the belief that really worked. And I think it was the most important step. And later on, when I implemented the strategy myself and I got the results, then people around me started noticing, okay, wow, how did you do it? Because we know that you also, you know, sit a lot, maybe don't exercise as much. And they started implementing the same strategies and techniques. And then their friends noticed, and you know, it was a beautiful domino effect. So the belief was the first step. The second step was actually measuring what I ate. And nowadays we have an abundance of food tracking apps. So I started with MyFitnessPal and now I'm with Fitato. And if you don't know what it is, it's actually an app where you can log in what you ate and in which quantities and it tells you how many uh, calories you took in. And with these apps, what is important is that they make you realize how many bad calories you put into your body. And for me, this realization was terrifying. For example, three small sausages can make up 20% of my daily calorie intake. And that's crazy. The third step that I did was that I started to eat more vegetables. And vegetables not only contain a lot of healthy nutrients, but they also fill us up very well thanks to the high amount of fiber. But the real game changer was a vegetable smoothie that I learned from Thomas Frank, which I modified a bit. And this smoothie is a real brain booster. It accelerates the functioning of your brain. I'll link to the original recipe in the description below. The fourth step that I did was that I looked for replacements. So instead of cookies, I opted for a high protein dessert. Instead of crisps, I tried to eat carrots. That's not easy, but it's definitely 
doable. And thanks to the golden rule of habit change, which I learned from The Power of Habit by Charles Dyke, I knew that in the habit loop, we only need to replace the habitual action and everything else stays the same. So I knew that it's actually doable. The fifth step that I did was that I started exercising more. But this doesn't mean that I went to a gym. I still don't have a gym subscription. These were very small things. It was 10 minutes of exercise three times a week. An occasional jog or a bike ride outside. Taking the stairs instead of the elevator. I believe that these small things, but done consistently, give the desired results over the wrong run. Only then did I do the sixth step. I lowered my daily calorie intake. Of all weight loss methods, I believe this one to be the most natural. It cannot be drastic, however. A small change, but over a long period of time. As you could see, losing weight was a longer process for me, almost two years. Nevertheless, the results I received, the results I got are sustainable. And although I still sit 11 to 13 hours a day, and of course these results are not guaranteed, I still believe that in this way I'll be able to stay in shape. And of all weight loss diets or methods, I believe this one also to be the most enjoyable ones because you can still enjoy the foods you love, just a little bit less of them. And also, in contrary to some other diets, for example the keto diet, don't deprive yourself of certain nutrients. And that was it. A change of habits in essence. Here is a plot of my weight from 2018 to today. As you can see, it was a bumpy road, but I got to the finish line. So, are you a software developer, or a student, or simply someone who sits for more than 8 hours a day and just doesn't have the time to exercise, but still wants to lose weight, then I suggest that you start following the steps that I described. Because if I could do it, then you can too. If you would like to go into even more detail, I have put my whole journey to weight loss and my whole experience into a book which I published at Amazon.com under a pseudonym. I have linked to the book in the description below. The price of the book is rather symbolic because I really want to everyone to benefit from the information in this book. And if you find this strategy successful in your life, then please let me know and let others know. Because I believe that there are still a lot of people who would benefit from this information and also from the motivation and belief that comes from seeing real world examples of people who succeeded. So thanks for watching and I wish you much success on your road to weight loss. Take care.